Jason Kelsey was picked one of the sexiest men of the year by People Magazine. Interesting you know, choice. They're, they're, at, they're both in a peak moment, and it's literally just explosive. And you know what? I hope she's happy. She's worked her ass off her whole life. Yeah, and I do think like... And by the way, so is he. He has. Okay, I see that. You don't get to be in the NFL and a major superstar by not working every single day. Yes. Well, maybe after this, if this era's tour ever, and I don't think it's ever going to end. No. But if it ever does end, look, I do think they both have small town values, like in a good way. Like I think really at the end of the day, they're about her cats and the kids and like I think they would be happy like living outside of Hollywood at least right now yeah in the middle of I don't know where I, I forgot where I he's think, from but it would be interesting to see you know we will see if it happens um which will be fascinating because one of my favorite things I've heard was there was a picture of them walking down the street and someone said oh look Taylor's taking her new album out for a walk <laughs> which I thought was hilarious it is hilarious but you know what what how great would it be i mean she does have a new album coming out right but i think a lot of that is about the ex still well i think the fact that her work ethic that she managed to record an album while doing the eras tour speaks volumes it's volumes but imagine that after the next album which i assume we're going to take a minute off from the tour maybe the one after that will just be out of nowhere a love album Right, Maybe. like, because I mean, isn't that where we're going? Like, it's gonna be a whole different album for her, which is not a bad career move. No, it's gonna be, you know. Again, I think we're all getting oversaturated. But my favorite is the one thing Travis cannot make go away was that horrific show on E, catching Kelsey, like where they were trying to set him up, and it was like a dating show. Yes, you know. Yes, I mean, did anyone watch that show? Well, they didn't bring it back for season two. No. I barely remember that show. Oh, yeah. It was... I forgot it until you just mentioned it. It was... It, it's a highlight for me in one of the worst shows that's been put on the air in the last decade. You know what was really bad for me also is The Abbey. Do you know, yeah, do you remember I remember that? The Abbey. Yeah, that I mean, was, it was a literally. Good... It was like Vanderpump Rules before its time. Yeah. And they would have like... It was the people that worked at The Abbey. Great concept. Conceptually fantastic. Poorly executed. Poorly executed. That didn't really go so far. Okay, thinking, seeing things that are new on TV. And I still cannot believe you have not seen the whole thing. The Wendy Williams oh. documentary. Everyone's talking about it. I saw it. So tell me, tell me, tell me what you witnessed. I saw a little bit and I saw clips. You know, it's really sad because I, I want to say knew her, but she's still alive. Um, you were on show a lot, right? As was my mother. And in the professional setting, she was lovely. She was good at her job. She did come to a few parties at my mom's. After my mother passed away, she could not have been more generous with her time with me. Never was like, don't care about you anymore. So I'm finding it so disturbing but if I take myself out of it because I look at it personally going like all this was going on right under everybody's nose right but when I take myself out of it knowing what I know it's tragic it is so upsetting and so disturbing and so powerful you sit there with your mouth open. Really? Yeah. It's crazy because you basically watch someone who's already teetering on the break fully descend into, and I know it's dementia and aphasia and alcohol, you watch someone's descent into madness. How... I mean, are you, so are you shocked then knowing her? I don't think, again, I went and did the Wendy show when it was still the Wendy show with Sherry and know a lot of people that worked on it and also being an insider in television, you know how to read the room. 
and we all have access to information that we can also just sort of extrapolate from what's happening that we all know mm, we also know how to read newspapers and this and like oh she's in rehab or mm, she's in a wellness center and we all kind of know it before we're told it what do you think well, I mean, you, you, I've, I mean, I didn't know her as well as you, but I, you heard things, right? Like even before all of this. So you heard stuff all the time. I just don't know how was this made. I'm so confused. Like, is it her? Like, how was, I mean, I know, so it's like dementia. And so, but like, how did she, like, is she aware that she's participating in something that the whole world is now watching well it's shot over the course of a couple of years and what's interesting to me is it says from executive producer wendy williams and it was supposed to be charting her comeback but boy what? oh boy does it take a dark turn again which i'm so excited about i'm going to be interviewing the filmmakers so all these kind of burning questions we're gonna get into you have to ask them all of this oh i have such a long list. That, my number one question is like, how, how, like, how was this made? I just, maybe I'm too big picture, but you know, I they just. They take a camera I mean, and they, yes. follow, they put a microphone on people and they follow them around. I just, the access though, like who is it? Yeah, I'm just curious. So there you go. I'll could let you, you know how it that? goes. I can't, I, okay. again, I'm very excited to talk to them to find out all the ins and outs of so much of it yeah this is people are talking about this it's crazy and like you people and i are always, talking about this you and i always have so much to talk about. oh my god and we're gonna have so much the next time too. i know always I mean, we need to do these more often because just so much ground to cover seriously what do you want to know about me i got nothing going on i know i mean i'm a gold star gay let me see what, what well, can you're i ask a gold you? star gay um what am i I mean, well, you'll have to eventually tell us about your wedding oh, and, that's and a your year. plans. And, that's okay, a so year it's a year away. That's a year away. Can't even start to get my head wrapped around. Okay, that. well, then you're interviewing these people. I'm interviewing these people. Um, God, that's all your that's dogs true. just went for a walk. My dogs got a bad <laughs> things going on. I got things going on. Yeah, I mean, fascinating. Listen, I'm thrilled to have nothing going on sometimes, right? I, not, nothing is bad for me. Is it? Yeah. Nothing, nothing is bad for me. Like just this whole day or two of just sleeping? I like that Wouldn't if that I feel nice? like I deserve it, but I rarely feel like I deserve I, it. I never feel Again, like I deserve it. Again, you and the therapist. Okay. On that note, thank you so much for joining us, David. Our crossover behind the velvet rope in Melissa Rivers' group text podcast. We're going to have to do